Good afternoon, folks. We're out in the garden again now, and um, I know it's a bit overcast, but it's bad weather this week. I've got to do the grass, finally cut this grass before I go away on holiday. So um, I'm going to put you on a little bit of time lapse. Let's get this cut. It's very, very long. I'll probably have to go over it two or three times. So um, I'm going to get the old lawnmower out now and uh, make a start. So this was what I cut, oh, probably about two weeks ago. And even this has started growing now, but this stuff over here has literally not been cut since last year and you can see that's a lot longer there there was a lot of line down there where i uh, cut this shorter but then i um didn't get the green bin emptied and we've had to wait for that to be emptied which is now done so i'm going to start on this lot first but uh yeah coming over here we did get the trotter lawnmower going again so i'm going to be using that i was going to put the uh, honda engine on it but um i didn't bother with it and uh this is just a push mower, so that's going to be quite hard work. So let's get that over here first of all. I think I might need to put some juice in it. Let's have a look at the look in the uh, fuel tank. See what's in it. Probably not a lot. Yeah, it's probably about, probably about a third full. I'm going to get some more fuel, people. Right, okay, here we go. So we're in March at the moment, and uh, I'm hoping the weather's going to break shortly. It still hasn't now, but uh, we'll get there, I'm sure we will. That should be enough. There we go. Wait that on there. Right, I want to put this on quite a high cut now, not a low one. So um, I'm going to lift this up a bit. Uh, probably into the middle. Right. Yeah, this will probably need a couple of cuts, as I say, because uh, it's really, really long. Get up there, you pig. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there's about an inch there maybe inch and a half even so I'm going to start down this end of the garden you can see how long the grass is here look look at it look it's, that's, that's quite deep in it look there's my hand and it's above my hand it's up to the sleeve sort of thing so it's quite a long piece of grass Merlin isn't it hey is it long so I'll put you on a bit of time lapse and let's hopefully get this thing whipped out see you in a minute Well, that's looking a bit better, folks. Still needs a lower cut, but I probably won't get that done today. But um, this long stuff, which I did try cutting on the shorter cutting level two weeks ago, devil's own job. Anyway, so I'm going to carry on now. I'll see you in a minute. Right, well, that's this first half cut. It's not looking too bad now, actually, although it will obviously need another cut. And then I've got to strim all around the edges. But uh, compared to what it was, it's a lot better. I've got some moss there and uh, some new grass seed that's got to go down there as well. And there's a few patches where the dogs have been digging. Uh, oh, I've got to fill in as well. But all this this year, hopefully, I plan to dig all this out. We get a digger come and uh, going to drag all that off there, level all that off there because there's loads of tree stumps along there right along here because we used to have loads and loads of conifers all along here a few years back which we had taken down and uh, level it off and I'm going to grass it all so hopefully the grass will be going all the way along up to the end there as well, that end bush will come out as well down there this bit now has got to be done and also go over that bit over there which uh, was the first bit I've done a couple of weeks ago so I won't bore you with that folks, I'll come back to you when I've done all that it's going to take two cuts I'll do the other one in a couple of days time because um, I think we're due for rain tomorrow, 15 degrees on Thursday and Friday this week. And that's gonna be the last chance I get because hopefully the week after we're going away. Jimmy's in charge of the house with Charlotte. And uh, yeah, and hopefully very shortly we'll get that new project done, start on the um, 
log cabin. Start on the Reliant Regal. I want that engine stripped down. I'll just wait for Garrett to get his couple of bikes out of the log cabin. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and hopefully start on some of the projects. So we'll see you a bit later on. All right, that's enough for me today, folks. Been out here about an hour and a half. It's a lot of work. And I've nearly filled the recycle bin up again. So uh, I ain't done too bad. Hi, right, folks, another day. Um, I've put a couple of them new little light bulbs up, which I've got, which someone recommended, 100 watt light bulbs. I haven't turned them on yet. I've come literally straight out to get the camera and uh, just to see if it flickers or stuff like that. So um, I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot brighter, but I thought I'd bring you along for the first look. So the two I've done is the two above the workbench here, as you can see there. So let's turn them on for the first time. I've taken this old tube out there, look. So on we go. You'll see it for the first time with me. Is it brighter? Oh, you know what I think it is? I think it is. It's a very orangey light here. I don't know if that's really displaying properly, folks, but um, definitely over in the work area here, it's definitely a lot brighter. The only issue I think I might have, looking at it there in the camera, is that when I'm filming in the background, you might get the glaring from the, um, the lights because there's no diffuser on it, so to speak. But all in all, that is only two of them. I've got 10 to go up in here. I was gonna put three along here, three along the middle there, and also three along that back wall there. I think that'll give it a hell of a lot more light. See that one there is starting to play up, it's flickering, but um, these don't appear to be flickering at all. So yeah, it could be a, a lot brighter workshop. I, I say the only issue I've got is that the globes are visible. And I don't know whether I can put some sort of diffuser over that or spin them around or whatever. The, the lamp holders I've got are angled down. So um, I'm not too sure whether that will be an issue. Maybe I might be able to get away with it or face the camera down a bit when I'm filming or whatever, I'm not sure. But uh, standing back here, it's definitely a hell of a lot more light in that area, although I don't think the camera really shows it. That's the sort of an orangey light there. When you see, yeah, I think you can see the the, uh, the line there where it's a lot brighter. Look at that, look. Hell of a lot brighter. It's, uh, what's the time now? It's five o'clock in the evening now, so I won't be doing any more out here today. I'll be doing other stuff as well, but um, I've got to do the oil change on Sharon's car. I've still got to do that. I had to get some um, oil drain plug and key kits because they've got the square shafted ones but um, these are only £12, always handy to have as well so two the different sizes. So I've got that and I want to get this back up on the workbench on there. That may not be before we go away on the holiday. I wanted to get all these lights done, whether I can get the chance to get all these done in this area I'm not too sure. I need to do something about that one because that's flickering. But uh, yeah there you go. Gary's still got them blinking mopeds in there. I'm hoping he was going to get them done by the time I get back from my holiday, so they might be out of the way by then. Let's turn that on in there. But you can see this is, although it's a, it's okay, it looks okay in the camera, but it's a very orangey light, and plus I wanted to get away from using standard fluorescent tubes, which I gather now they can't sell them anymore, they're illegal to sell. So there you go, that's a lot brighter just in that corner. Here's the uh, TZR engine, which we was putting back together. It's got to take that carb off and I don't know what he stuck it on there for because it needs stripping down and refurbing. Maybe he had a couple of carbs and he was just looking to uh, find the best one, I suppose, I'm not sure. He's got all new casing screws to go in there, as you can see. So yeah, that's going on. That's the RSX 100 engine. Looks like he's put a coat of paint on the uh, side cover there for the uh, TZR. And uh, yeah, I want to get back on these projects once everything's cleared up and sorted. The mobile app's over in the corner there. The RSX is here as well. So I know it's been a long time coming, folks, but uh, keep with it, stick with us. And if you do get a little bit bored or you want to look for something, have a look at my previous videos. I've got hundreds and hundreds of car repair videos, lawnmower my repair videos, lawnmower restoration, other equipment, motorbike stuff and all that. Hell of a lot of stuff in there, and you might find that interesting as well. Anyway. Do I look sort of bluey white? This is a cool white light, I think, or daylight bulb. It's coming across as daylight, I think, actually, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it here for now, folks. I'll see you in the next video. This is only a little quick update video. Uh, I hope to get back in here pretty soon, as I said to you. So um, keep tuned, and uh, I'll see you when I come back off my holiday. And uh, until then, bye for now. Bye.